let's actually talk about how New Vegas is not that great of a game. I mean, objectively, it's one of the better games in from a Bethesda IP. But all of the all of New Vegas Glazers forget everything that I'm about to say. And I'm not going to be talking about any of the issues with the creation engine because that's low-hanging fruit. If we cared about the creation engine being dog shit, we wouldn't be paying Bethesda games. Just saying. Fallout New Vegas doesn't feel like a Fallout game, like the 1, 2, or even 3 before it. Not in the same way. Fallout 1, 2, and 3 are games where you have little pockets of humanity, and you feel like a lone wanderer, or you feel like you are a waster. Fallout New Vegas doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's more civilization than there is wild. The way Fallout New Vegas has set up its quests and stuff is ar is around hubs. Um, you might get, you know, in Fallout 3 there's like two quest hubs. You have Megaton and you have Rivet City and maybe later you could consider the Citadel to a degree, but by and large um, there are disparate quests all over the wasteland. The content is dispersed and there is an incentive for you, the player, to go explore. In Fallout New Vegas, every, you know, everything is kind of like exposed to you. There's nothing really that's necessarily super hidden or you have to go out and find for yourself. It is less of an exploration based game, which, you know, the previous games kind of more so were to a degree. You are in that leads into the, my third point. You are more likely to get quest fatigue in Fallout New Vegas um, because the areas of the game are like basically quest hubs where you get quests on quests on quests on quests on quests to the point where like you're having a hard time managing everything. You know, in games like Fallout, you get the you almost immediately get the same issue you kind of have at level, you know, thirty odd in Skyrim. Where you were just where you were just inundated with an entire journal filled with quests, and you almost don't even remember everything you have to do, and there's this and that, and it just becomes a kind of a paralysis. You cannot continue playing the game after you beat do the Battle of Hoover Dam. Yes, I know Fallout Three originally had that as well, but Broken Steel is a thing, and they had four fucking DLCs. At some point, they could have put a goddamn patch in that bitch to prevent, to like make it so you can just continue playing the game. They kept the filter from Fallout 3. Well, what I mean by the filter is that in Fallout 3, you had like this awful green hue filter over everything that kind of made everything look meh. They did the same thing in New Vegas, except it was orange this time. Again, Fallout New Vegas is one of the best Bethesda games to come out, or Bethesda published games to come out. Um, I personally like 3, more, a little bit more, but maybe that's just because my first, but objectively I think Fallout New Vegas is the better game compared to 3. But both 3, New Vegas, and 4 all do things better and worse than one another. And I think the New Vegas Glazers have forgotten that Fallout New Vegas was not a perfect game. I also want to remind them that something like a Fallout 4 is a much prettier and more stable game, comparatively, with be with significantly better gunplay. Thank you, it's software. And Fallout 3 is a, in Fallout 3 is a better, better elicits, elicits that Fallout fantasy of being a lone wanderer, of being a man out in the wilderness and, you know, fighting to survive. I'm also from fucking Maryland originally, so like, yeah, I've been to, been around, been in and around DC. Even Fallout seventy six, I think, does some does a few things better than those th previous three games. Fallout seventy six, because they had no NPCs in the original at launch, their environmental storytelling is the best in the series, and do and while environmental storytelling is not enough to hold up a game on its own, obviously. It is, now that there are NPCs and storylines and quests and stuff of that nature, a lot more enjoyable. It's a lot, the, the, like, the, 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 it, the, them adding NPCs finally to it accentuated that, uh, world, that, uh, world building, and I like it a lot. Also, the, uh, Appalachian, not Appalachian, yeah, no, the, um, 
the West Virginian re like that Appalachian West Virginian region is really really cool and, and it's really really interesting. Step honestly, if you're a Fallout fan at all, um, obviously it's a you know MMO light you know BS. Seventy six is still worth I think just for experiencing it. It's a uh, giant map and stuff. Definitely worth uh, I think just a, a quick romp. It's on Game Pass for free, so you might as well just go give it a shot if if you got Game Pass. But yeah, I think Fallout 4 at this point is kind of like the best in the series in terms of like onboarding new players. It's what I showed to my girlfriend. I would not put her in front of Falcon Fallout New Vegas. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? A new person who's never played a Fallout game before and you're going to put fucking 90s era RPG mechanics in front of them. Like she plays D&D &D and she's smart and she knows and she could do it sure, but like I want her to like just it be a seamless tr transition so she enjoys it. And then once she's had her fill of four, yeah, we can try New Vegas. She'd probably like the quests a lot more in that comparatively. Although she probably would miss playing Sims Wasteland Edition, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is included in my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.